Howdy, I'm John and I made this video to show you what it was like for me installing the Dark Power PSU into the Be Quiet Dark Base 900 Revision 2 case. I'll explain just why I got the 750 watt Dark Power Pro 11 Platinum. You see, there are six levels of accredited efficiency ratings called 80 plus. The higher the 80 plus rating based on the levels from white to titanium, the higher efficiency you get but usually at a higher cost. Most PSUs will operate most efficiently when running at about 50% load. My system at full speed will use about 400 watts or so. To give some cushion, we add about 50% more to the PSU requirements, so I'd need a 600 watt power supply at the minimum. But my graphics card recommends at least 650 watt power supply be used, so I went ahead and got the 750 watt PSU. This ensures I have enough power for this device as well as it gives me cushion if I add some more components. I chose the platinum level as it gives good efficiency. It might generate less heat. It should save energy in energy expensive California. I use a lot of power for my 3D rendering, so I want efficiency more for this computer than I normally recommend for most folks. With a semi-modular PSU, you have this trunk line that fits onto the 20 or 24 pin motherboard connection. Everyone needs to use this, so it's fine that it's attached. But with a semi-modular PSU, you need only add the cables you're going to use. This reduces the confusing clutter of cables. This, for instance, is called a drive cable. It will connect from the power supply to power the hard drive, CD players, or other accessory hardware components. This cable I've picked out has a few SATA connectors that will plug into my hard drives. SATA is a newer style connector for accessories. SATA stands for Serial AT Attachment, AT being an old computer company. If you are replacing an old power supply, you might need to use some of the old style Molex connectors for your drives. You might even need the old floppy disk connector. Any cables or connections you don't need, keep them in the box for future needs. With a semi-modular PSU, you only have to be confused by the cables you're going to actually use. Note the rounded frames of some of the connector pins. This gives a particular keying pattern that is replicated on the PSU itself, so you can't insert the wrong cables into the wrong spots. This is a cable that plugs into a graphics card, the VGA or Video Graphics Array. They are numbered so you can identify them when you have a bundle of cables hanging out the back of the case. This is called a 6 plus 2 cable, meaning if GPU needs 6 plugs, you fold the other two away. If you need 8, you push the two together before inserting into a GPU. I use 16 in mine. This spreads the power over more cables, reducing cable heating. This is a PSU compartment of the DeepBase Pro 900 Vision 2 is designed to be quiet so PSU is actually set into a sled back from the grill so you don't get the sound of air movement being expelled as much. The sled slides its slots onto these screws and then two screws are put through a brace into the sled to attach it securely. You have several settings to choose. I found the middle one works easiest for me. The PSU gets attached into the sled using the standard back screw holes with Thumb screws Be Quiet includes. Note that whether you stow the unit right side up or upside down, it will show the text right side up through the side window. You'll have to set the power switch on now, as you'll hook a small extension cable to it and the new switch will now be on the outside of the case because this one will be inaccessible inside the case. Now, the reason we got the semi-modular version of a PSU is so we not have a bunch of cables in the PSU compartment that weren't being actively used. This is what the cables included look like, but we won't need them all. You need to dig through this complexity and stow away anything you're not going to need. This is the main cable attached permanently to a PSU. It is referred to as the 24 pin motherboard connector and will go to the right side of the motherboard near the top. Some older boards use 20 pin connectors so you fold the four pins away. Most folks will need to hook these together to insert into their 24 pin motherboard header. Here's a bundle of drive cables that has nothing but old style Molexes and floppy disk connections. Nothing for me here, so it goes into the box out of the way. Having unused cable clutter, blocking airflow, and adding to mental stress is not worthwhile. Set aside anything you can't use, then start working on what you need and select that from the rest. This one was marked VGA3, so it's for the third graphics card if I had that many. 
It insert into the PSU slot labeled PCIe3 to feed the hardware in the PCIe slots. They are numbered to help you know which graphics card you're working with. This PSU came with enough cables for three graphics cards, but I only need one. This is a CPU connector cable that will go to the top left of the motherboard. You'll notice it is a 4 plus 4 configuration. PSU cables always break down that way, not 6 plus 2 like the graphics cables. Here's a demonstration showing it's hard to connect the cables improperly unless you have great powers. Now we see the correct end slips in easily, and if I were to push far enough the clip will catch and will have to be depressed to be removed. I've selected to use two drive cables they are both loaded with SATA connectors. We can push them in and find they connect well. Here I'm connecting the second set of CPU cables. Many motherboards only need one, but enthusiast level boards might have two to reduce heating of the cables for overclocking. Always give a tug to make sure they are properly seated. As I attach each cable to a PSU, I slip the rest of the cables out of the way to the back of the case where the cable management happens. I start from the far end so I don't have cables in the way as I plug into the PSU. Some of these are the cables from the control panel of the case. Two of them hook up to this PSU so that the case fans, the RGB, and the case control panel are powered. Note the keyways that most computer connections have. This one prevents the SATA connection from being installed backwards. When you align them and press them together, you'll feel a click connection. I've included an audible click here to make emphasis. When you need to disconnect them, you'll have to pull as you wiggle them gently to aid removal. This particular drive cable had three SATA connections on it. I use a third for this SSD that fits onto a PSU shroud. This SSD will now be powered by the SATA cable from the PSU. It will also get a data connection from a data cable. Now I bundle this set of cables together to reduce interference with airflow and to reduce clutter under a shroud. Some folks use zip ties. I like the Velcro wrappers that Be Quiet includes with their hardware. Now, I recommend you practice installing the PSU shroud a few times before you put the PSU into place. It's a bit of a tough fit with all the cables and PSU in place. Note this USB cable is interfering with the installation. Remove anything interfering with installation, never push anything hard or you may damage hardware. Once the PSU and shroud are in place, you must attach the three screws at the front of the case. This screw in the back is a bit of a challenge, especially attaching it while filming and looking through a viewfinder. So these are the GPU cables coming out from the PSU compartment. Notice how I fish them through the raceway. Your case may be different, but many will have places designed to pass cables through, allowing you to be able to close the case easily afterwards. Do the same for the CPU cables and the 24-pin motherboard. In general, the smaller cables will go under the larger cables. I use both hands to find a good spot to pass through the rubber grommet to get to the graphics card. Again, we see SATA connectors for the drives. When attaching them to the drives, check the keyway orientation. Manage the cables as you go along and have fun. Thanks for watching. See you around again sometime.